New at 11, Virginia Beach is getting three new schools. The plan is to replace four of the oldest schools in that division with some brand new buildings. And tonight, residents have the chance to share their thoughts on the design process. Sarah Hammond joins us now live in studio. So Sarah, what schools are they looking to replace here? Well, they're looking at Princess Anne High School, Bayside High School, Betty Williams Elementary, and the Bayside 6th grade campus. This is all part of a recent agreement between the school board and city council. Virginia Beach City Public Schools is looking to the future. Again, this building is going to be around for 100 years. So we always talk 21st century learning in Virginia Beach City Public Schools. We're going into 22nd century learning. <clears throat> In May of 2021, a construction company submitted an unsolicited public private education act proposal to the school board. The board and city council signed off and now a plan is in motion to replace four of the division's oldest schools with three brand new facilities. We need these new buildings. City Councilwoman Amelia Ross Hammond says she toured Betty Williams Elementary School recently and saw the floors were in bad shape. I even went into a room. Uh, carpeted and I said this is different the rest says well we needed a carpet because asbestos under this this carpet helps cover them and keep it safe for the young people. The plan for that school and the Bayside sixth grade campus is to consolidate the two into one new building where Betty Williams is now and demolish the sixth grade campus. Princess Anne and Bayside High would stay on their current property. Beyond that fact, they want your input. You can attend one of the upcoming community sessions to give your feedback on what you want to see. Ross Hammond says having these new buildings will be a game changer for the city's future. So that we'll come out with the best product for not 50 years, but 100 years. The next meeting is tomorrow at Bayside High School from 6 to 7.30 p.m. If you can't attend the meeting in person, you can submit a survey online. You can find all of that information in this story on our website at 13newsnow.com. Back to you.